Did you know that solar eclipses create powerful opportunities for you to make space and create clearing in your life? Well, I'll share with you the important factors you need to know about solar eclipses. Every year, we have at least two major solar eclipses that occur. Now, an eclipse is simply a time when the moon comes in front of the sun and it creates a shadow over the sun. And it's not always visible, of course, on all parts of the Earth due to the timing of the eclipse. However, eclipses do bring energy for the entire world. In particular, this energy is a bit stronger around those areas that can visibly see the eclipse. However, everyone does get to experience it. Now, solar eclipses from the Vedic tradition are a time when the light of the sun gets diminished. Now, the light of the sun, the energy of the sun, the sun is represented as the soul, the energy of the soul. It's also the divine masculine or the father figures in life. And so when that energy, the light of the soul, the light of that divine masculine gets diminished, it's an opportunity for you to look within the darkness. That's what eclipses do. They create darkness so that you can look within and bring light into those dark areas of your life. So during a solar eclipse, one of the best things that you can do is take time to meditate, to listen within. Solar eclipses give you an opportunity to ask yourself, am I on the right path? Am I moving forward in the way that drives my evolution? Am I meeting my soul's purpose for showing up on this earth? This question can come with a lot of information. And when we do have eclipses, it tends to be that the veil, if you will, is somewhat thin, meaning that some information from the ancestral line or the lineage might show up, and it could even be an opportunity for you to clear. So when you ask yourself these questions, if you do feel yourself coming against some of those beliefs that came from your lineage, right, your family line, then realize that this is okay. This is an opportunity for you to ask, am I following the correct path in my life? Another way to feel really empowered through a solar eclipse is to look at that divine masculine aspect of yourself. Now, the divine masculine aspect simply means that aspect of yourself that's ready to act. It's ready to move forward into the world. The divine masculine is one that moves. It takes action. It's somewhat logical and practical. So during a solar eclipse, it's time for you to look at how am I acting in my life? Am I really balancing my action in the outdoor world with my ability to receive and rest and take care of myself? Finally, a key thing to do during a solar eclipse is to come to an understanding with the male figures in your life. So father figures, grandfathers, uncles, any of the masculine figures that have been in your life, this is an opportunity for you to neutralize and clear out any congestion from those relationships. Now remember, this does not mean that you need to even engage with those people in your lives. This could mean people that have left their bodies. This is really not about the other person. It never is, right? However, this is about you and your reaction or response to them. Because eclipses do bring up karma. And karma is simply an emotional reaction that we have to our lives. So use this time to check in with yourself. Are you following through on your soul's desire, on the soul's drive for this lifetime? Are you navigating a balance between your action in the outer world and your ability to receive and rest? And what relationships in your life, those divine masculine relationships, could you clear out just a little more? 
If you'd like to learn more how to benefit through these cycles of time, sign up for my newsletter, or check out my Evolve into Productivity on Demand course. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you.